Hello and welcome to SOAP UI tutorial. So in last couple of tutorials we have seen how to design your end-to-end -end test cases and use property transfer to automate all the um, dynamic values that you are getting from one response and pass it on to another request so there is no manual intervention. So now in this tutorial I'll cover a bit more and um, I'll cover how you can use the custom properties or how you can use um, transfer the custom properties that you define at your test case or test suite level or the project level to any of the requests. So for example, if you see this project here, create a project request, what I'm doing is I'm hard coding the values, nodes and name in the request itself in the JSON request. Now, if I want to externalize this and put it into the custom properties and then read these values from the custom properties, how am I going to do that? So uh, the concept still remains same. You can use the transfer property transfer or you can use the groovy script as well. So in this tutorial, let me cover the property transfer concept, how you can use property transfer to read these values from custom properties. So let's define the custom property at the test suite level and we'll, we'll uh, read these properties from there. Okay, so I'll define a property name and put the value as RCV Academy Demo Project. I'll just rename it to one and then define another property notes and put some notes this is um, for learning okay so i've defined these two custom properties at the test suite level and now i want to read these two values from the custom properties rather than hard coding it into the notes and name field of json request okay so let me remove these values here and now what I'll do is I'll open the same property transfer that we used to transfer the dynamic IDs of workspace and team. Okay, so I'll open this. Just add a new property transfer and I'll let, um, do it, provide the name as name transfer. And click OK. Now in this property transfer, what I need to do is the source will be your end-to-end -end test case demo because this is the test suite level where we define these custom properties. So just select that particular source and select the property. Which property you are interested in? Name. Okay. And just leave the path language as XPath. That doesn't matter. And then in the target, you are transferring that value to the create project request property is the request and path language is json path because whatever you are reading or whatever you are getting um, the property value from the name you need to pass it into the json request okay and in order to pass it to the json request you need to provide the path of that particular node okay so to start with dollar is the root node and then data and then what's the node that's the name okay so after data you see the child node is name where you need to pass this value okay let's run this and see the transfer so now you can see rcv academy demo project name transfer has been successful if you see the request right that has been passed successfully in the name field okay the so similar similar steps for notes as well okay so i'll do another transfer i'll say notes transfer click ok and from end to end test case demo property is notes leave it to xpath the path language Create a project is the target, property is the request and change it to the JSON path, provide the JSON path. So root node dot data dot nodes. All right. And now if, you, if I execute this, 
the nodes field will be or the nodes node will be populated with the value as well click on execute and now you can see for learning got populated in the nodes field so now what we have done as part of this tutorial is that we have not hard coded or we have externalized all the data that we had hard coded earlier so we had hard coded name and notes earlier which we have externalized to the custom properties of end-to-end -end test case we have defined two uh, properties here name and notes and provided the value there and then we have defined these two transfer name transfer and notes transfer in transfer um, workspace and team gid and transfer these values into the nodes for create a project json request okay let me save this project and then we'll execute it so i'll close all these windows here let me close these and what i'll do is i'll disable all the other steps below create project so just select all and then click disable so now all the remaining these steps won't get executed in this particular test suite open the test suite and click execute so now you'll see the create project the request or the test case has been run up to create project and the project has been created successfully so if we open create project request and see the response message go to json there would be a new project created with rcb academy demo project one and now if we go to the ui and verify the projects now you can see on the ui we have two projects rcb academy test project and rcb academy demo project one has been created in the rcb academy two right this is the new project that we created with the execution okay so that's pretty much about reading the custom properties from any of the test suite test case or project level so i have covered the custom property at the test suite level so it will be pretty similar for other levels as well so if you open property transfer right so we have defined the properties at the test suite level now if you have a property defined at the project level in the source you simply select the project okay so you can select the the um, project or you can select the test suite or the test case um, level whatever level you are you have defined your properties okay so here you can define the property at the project level at the test suite level okay or at the test case level so you, depending where you have defined your properties you select the source accordingly and all the rest steps will remain exactly same as we have covered in this particular tutorial so that's pretty much all about the reading custom properties from the test suite project and test case level and passing it to the json request in rest api so hope you like the tutorial please do share and subscribe thank you for watching